Hello, I'm Sean Paul. I'm a missionary down here in Honduras with my wife. And uh, I wanted to talk to you today about black soldier flies. Uh, we do work in the mountains. We work with people in the remote areas. And you would think, you know, they're farmers. They should know how to farm. Well, unfortunately, that's not the case. So what we're doing is we're developing uh, agricultural programs for them. And one of them in particular is a black soldier fly. Uh, we've heard from them over and over about why don't you uh, have chickens now some of them have chickens I don't want you to think that they don't but a lot of them don't and they say because we don't have money to feed the chickens and they have plenty of land for free ranging uh, you would think that uh, that shouldn't be an issue but they want to buy corn and so forth for their chickens and so what we're developing is uh, black soldier fly bins to where they can actually develop their own food source for their chickens so this is a black soldier fly bin. As you can see, uh, it's kind of a big old box. There's multiple ways to do this. Um, I like this uh, idea, but you could use uh, plastic totes, PVC pipe. You can do all kinds of stuff. Um, I actually built this today, so it wasn't difficult at all. But I just kind of want to show you around a little bit. Um, this right here is the inside of the uh, actual box. As you can see, I drilled holes all the way around uh, in this area so that the flies can actually easily get in here. Now over here, I want to uh, get a shot of this. This right here is cardboard, corrugated cardboard. I pile that up and screw that on there. What they do is they'll fly in here and then they lay their eggs inside the actual corrugated cardboard. So that's a good place to, for them to start right there. And then down in here, as you can see, this right here is the bin. And I just got some food right here. And this is just kind of how you even start it. You just put uh, any type of scraps, anything, actually anything that a human can eat, you can put it in there. Um, there's lists on the internet where you can actually go and research this even more so. Um, so, so like I said, instead of just throwing away in your, in your trash, you can actually um, just dump it into your bin. Now, we do vermiculture with uh, worms as well, so we kind of use certain uh, scraps for the worms, and then, but with soldier flies, you can pr pretty much put any type of food in there. Now, I lined the bottom with some heavy plastic uh, because I didn't want the bottom to rot out over time, and what happens is also you get actually juice, and I know that sounds gross, but you get like a composting juice, and what I did is I put a bucket down here to capture that. There's a hole in here, so the juice will drip down inside here, and then you can use that for particular things, uh, gardening methods and stuff like that. There's all kinds of recipes on the internet about uh, teas and stuff like that, so you want to research that. Now, what happens is, is your, your, your uh, black soldier flies will lay the eggs in here. Obviously, they'll hatch. They'll go into here, and then they actually start just eating this stuff. It's amazing how fast they can start eating this and go through all this uh, very quickly. And then when the black soldier fly larva becomes like a, more of a uh, mature stage, they have a natural propensity to want to leave this, uh, this right here. And so then uh, you, they'll start walking up this. It's, it's really neat to watch the video. They'll walk up this, and then they'll fall down into this tray that I put right here and then your black soldier flies will be in there and they don't even crawl out of it they, they just lay down in there so I watched one video where a gentleman had an actual eight foot long uh, bin and he harv he was harvesting four pounds of larva a day so you can imagine uh, how much you can actually produce so see what we're gonna do with ours is we're gonna actually feed our fish we have the uh, fish over there in those two big tanks so we're gonna actually use this to feed her fish. So you can imagine, instead of me going and buying fish food, I can actually feed my fish with the with this larva. Uh, and then we do uh, 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 duckweed, we grow duckweed, so they eat that. And then behind uh, my wife right here, she's doing the videoing, uh, we have moringa trees, so we feed the fish moringa as well, the moringa leaves. So we give our fish a full entire diet, but also you can use this larva for your, um, for your chickens as well, if you have chickens. I'm sure there's other means that you can use, but most people do it for their chickens or for their fish. So here you go, a, a black soldier fly bin, and it was very easy to make. Probably got about, you know, just estimating about maybe $50 in it. So it's very cheap to build as well. So uh, if you're handy and, uh, um, you know, you know how to do stuff like this, you can have this thing built within probably three or four hours. So if you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. 
Okay, I wanted to go over the dimensions with you here. Uh, a lot of websites, they did a lot of great talking, but they never really talked about the structure of the uh, box itself. So this right here is four foot long and two foot wide. And then the important thing is, is your ramp inside. Uh, there's, there's some different angles out there that's floating around. Uh, the one that I found pretty consistent was 30 degrees. So you want a 30 degree slope for the soldier flies to be able to, or the larva to be able to crawl up that. Uh, so I used a 30 de degree slope there. And then for my box, I did 20 inches tall. So that's a, that's a really good size bin. Uh, now I've seen some that's actually eight foot long. I would probably say that's for some very serious folks that want to, uh, you know, um, raise a lot of larva, maybe for commercial use, or you have a lot of chickens or so forth. Uh, or a lot of obviously fish to feed but this right here is going to be a, a really good production i think once it really gets going and it's a very mature unit i would probably say that we could probably develop maybe two pounds one to two pounds a day of of larva so that's definitely going to be more than enough for us uh for our fish and then you know maybe we'll start donating it to uh, other people as well as far as the larva if we start really producing a lot more okay again thanks a lot have a good day